Greetings folks, Joseph Kursky here with you. Now I keep talking about on this channel how Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, is being used to analyze our world. If you do a search on ArcGIS Beirut Port Explosion Story Map, you will find this story map. It allows you to examine in grim detail the very sad situation that happened in early August 2020 in the Port of Beirut. And this, as you can see, before and after imagery with a swipe capability shows you the extent of the damage. You can investigate the scale and you can change the base map. You can do lots of things. This is an ESRI ArcGIS story map. You can create your own story maps for topics that you are interested in examining. This has a combination of two main functions. In this particular one, there's a swipe capability letting you do what I'm doing here with a sort of a squeegee effect. Look at the Again, grim details, uh, sad, sad details where people's lives were either taken or altered forevermore in the future. Um, loved ones gone, their own injuries, and so on. Along with this tabbed capability, as you see 1 through 12 in the upper left. Lots of uh, devastation here, but the point is these maps are not just created to provide teachable moments for you in the classroom examining scale satellite imagery base maps of various kinds but uh, they are used by decision makers to make deci decisions about our world from local to global scale and so when you're teaching with geographic information systems yes you're teaching about current events and many of those current events are frankly uh, uh, sad events and they're grim but you're also teaching that yes these tools are being used and they are increasingly being relied on in transportation health natural disasters human caused disasters like this one and many other topics of concern in our world from city planning to agriculture to, to sustainable tourism to biodiversity to energy to water you can see the ship that was overturned in this case but these maps are being used and so students can have a good career in these mapping tools here you can see that the extent of the blast and again scale matters so here's the extent of some building damage you can see nine and a half kilometers away there was some building damage and then windows being blown out 24 kilometers away so again scale is important in these map based investigations and the sound reaching 240 kilometers away all the way over in cyprus and the, the shock waves over 400 kilometers away so again scale matters and these tools are being used and they are also available to you as an instructor and as a researcher so you can not only consume existing maps and story maps made in this ArcGIS platform from ESRI, but you can also create your own, again, for any topic that you are interested in investigating. And that's the focus of, partly the focus of this channel, to help you understand why and how to use these tools. So again, do a, a search on Beirut port explosion and you will be able to do exactly what I did here. Thanks and take care.